really like it that much but when you watch one episode and then continue watching then you see then you watch another episode and a third and then a fifth and then the tenth and then you're like oh I really like this new series right and it's no longer new by that time so you're like I really like it I really enjoy it let's watch more right and then a new series comes along even newer than that one and you're like oh this uh, let's give it a try I'm not sure I like it uh, you watch the first episode and you're like I'm not sure I like this and then you watch the second one and the third and you're like this is great but not all the time sometimes you watch one and you're like I don't like it and then you just then you just stop maybe the problem is you didn't watch it long enough uh, if you watch something often enough I have a theory that you might start liking anything but some things are easier to like than others that's true in many ways so yeah some things are just not as enjoyable as others but my theory states that everything can be made enjoyable if you watch it often enough but in only enjoyable to a certain extent there's like a limit to how much you can enjoy a bad show while there is uh, while there the lim the limit or the bar or whatever you want to call it is much higher on a good show so if you if you get used to a bad show you might like it and enjoy it but only to some limited extent and even though you you might enjoy a good show also to a limited extent it's much less limited if that makes sense so Nick Jr. 2 with this ostrich I actually found out that this ostrich has a separate cartoon it's a separate cartoon and it talks about this ostrich and I I think they sound British it's a British cartoon or something and I actually forgot what it was all about the episode which I watched but I know that now that this ostrich really exists it has a female name I think and it's its own cartoon it's not like a side character it's not like a background character or something some somebody not known too well it's not playing second fiddle to anyone it's the main star of its own cartoon so we're moving on to the purple hand gang of horrid Henry what's the difference between horrid and horrible um, I don't really know is there a difference between horrid and horrible horrid you know that's something you don't hear that often you don't hear that word a lot at all maybe in the UK you do but not where but not where I come from which is a secret formula I got a secret formula so we're looking at penguins from Madagascar no these are not from Madagascar or are they how would you know whether they're from Madagascar or not maybe they're from Madagascar and maybe they're not maybe they're from the Atlantic Ocean I don't know I have no idea where that is actually so they could be from anywhere they could be from your neighborhood zoo or something if you have a zoo so Becca's bunch that's the new thing that's supposed to be impressive actually if I if I look at Nick G, um, if I compare Nick Jr. with Disney Jr. Uh, I, I, I think that Disney Jr. is mastering the art of 3D animation better than Nick Jr. You know, Becca's Bunch is supposed to be impressive, but we got Fancy Nancy Clancy over there on Nick Jr. and it's pretty impressive to me. I mean, they're, they're doing things pretty well. And um, what's that show called? Angelo Rules. Angelo Rules on Cartoon Network. That show is animated well. It avoids all the things that disturb me and like uh, annoy me with. CGI animation they almost fix it almost I think so all of my criticism of CGI animation yeah they're improving it they're like they're almost like 
it's almost like they're listening to me or something but I guess they just know their own flaws they know the flaws of CGI animation and they're slowly working on fi on fixing it I mean they're specialists they know what they're doing right they know about these flaws and they're doing their best to fix them I guess and Disney has a high budget budgets budget so it's cool and Nick Jr. too I guess they also have a nice budget maybe not as big maybe as big I don't know so but I noticed the movements uh, of this worm here and it looks awkward it looks unrealistic I mean they've gone all the, this way to make all of these characters look so realistic in these CGI cartoons but the movements they just can't get them right and like Bingo and Rolly that's what I compare the movements to here of this worm of this worm to yeah so Blaze and the Monster Machines next and we're at the end of the continuity bye bye